1914, uh, Harry Stutz uh, uh, chose the engine, the Wisconsin T-head engine that had uh, uh, four cylinders and uh, had a four and three quarter inch bore and a five and three quarter inch stroke. That's big, big pistons. They're almost bucket size. And guess what? He had two spark plugs for each cylinder. And to operate this engine, you need a magneto, a Bosch magneto that has uh, facilities for creating two twin sparks, mm -hmm. spark for each side. You can run it on one magneto or two magneto. Well, this is how you put water in the Bearcat. It takes 23 quarts of water. Here's the gas. Incidentally, this is a 33 gallon gas tank. Many times I went from here to New York and back on a, on a tank full. On. And we put the choke on, and we give it some spark, and give it a little advance of throttle, and we put down the starter button. behind the wheel of a Bearcat, you, you, have a, 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 you're, you have a high, like you, you've got something, uh, a dreadnought, you're, you're, you're flying a, a space shuttle. In existence, uh, Stutz only made a few Bearcats. They made uh, the uh, Black Hawk and they made the Bulldog and uh, they only had a short uh, span uh, from 1914 when the Bearcat came out to 1917. I think they made less than uh, 100. We know of four original cars uh, that are in existence today. Every piece is absolutely original, the way it came from the factory, and there's only four like that. When I was eight years old, I had a ride in a Stutz Bearcat. I was sat in the bucket seat and my buddy sat on the floor and uh, he took us for a ride uh, up Main Street. After that, I says, boy, someday when I grow big, I want to get a Stutz Bearcat. I heard of this Stutz Bearcat that was uh, owned by Mr. Manville up in New York, up in Upper New York State. I wanted it, I wanted it. A boyhood desire to own a Stutz Bearcat because of its fame, uh, because of its legendary uh, powers of, uh, in racing. This is what you... Put up there. That's your that's your windshield. That's the Monaco windshield. And that didn't come with the car. You bought that as an accessory. <laughs> the entire profile and uh, the comfort of which uh, that this uh, provides when you're driving, you can attain speeds of 100 miles an hour with this. Of course, you strip down, you, you lessen all the weight, you take the trunk off, the toolboxes, wherever you can, you cut weight down in order to in get increased speed.